fifth problem if alpha beta 1 are the roots of are the roots of x cube minus 2x square plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 then find alpha and beta then find the values of alpha and beta here solution comparing with a naught x cube plus a 1 x square plus a 2 x plus a 3 is equal to 0. Here a naught is equal to 1 a 1 is equal to minus 2, a 2 is equal to 5 and a 3 is equal to 6. So, in this problem first let us find out S 1, later let us find out S 3. We establish a relation between alpha and beta that means alpha plus beta, alpha beta then we can solve the problem. So, now S 1, S 1 means alpha plus beta plus 1 is equal to minus A 1 by A naught. So, alpha plus beta plus 1 is equal to this is 2 by 1 2 alpha plus beta is equal to 1 say equation 1 this is. Now, S 3, S 3 means alpha into beta into 1 equals to, I already told you in the previous problem, S 3 means minus A 3 by A naught, minus A 3 by A naught. This is becomes alpha beta is equal to A 3 is 6, so minus 6 by 1 minus 6 say 2 and we know that alpha minus beta whole square is equal to alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta this algebraic formula we have substituting this is 1 square 4 into minus 6. 1 plus 24. So, 25. Now, what is alpha minus beta? Alpha minus beta is equal to square root of 25. So, we get alpha minus beta is equal to 5 say equation 3. Now, solving 1 and 3 we get alpha and beta values. So, solving 1 and 3 alpha plus beta is equal to 1 alpha minus beta is equal to 5. Now, add if you add what do you get these two will be gets cancelled 2 alpha is equal to 6 alpha is equal to 6 by 2 3. So, alpha is equal to 3 alpha value have been evaluated. Now, put alpha is equal to 3 in equation 1 the here that means 3 plus beta is equal to 1 beta is equal to 1 minus 3 which is minus 2. So, beta is equal to minus 2. Next sixth problem, find the 
algebraic equation whose roots are whose roots are two times two times the roots of the roots of x to the power of 5 minus 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cube minus 2x square plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 so that means suppose if alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 be the roots of this equation then we have to find out a quarter algebraic equation 2 alpha 1 whose roots are 2 alpha 1 2 alpha 2 2 alpha 3 and so on 2 alpha 5 so that takes very lengthy so better we have one shortcut suppose if you just assume that this expression as f of x so 2 times means foot x for x by 2 that means find f of x by 2 and equate to 0 you get required equation so that means here let us suppose f of x is equal to x to the power of 5 minus 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x cube minus 2x square plus 4x plus 3 corresponding to the given algebraic equation now the required equation is f of x by 2 is equal to 0 so that means k times means x by k where k does not equal to 0 so that implies we get like this in the place of x write on x by 2 x by 2 power 5 minus 2 into x by 2 power 4 Plus three multiplied by x by two power cube minus two into x by two whole square plus four into x by two plus three equal to zero. Now this is x to the power of five by thirty two. Two power five is thirty two. We know this is. 2 into x to the power of 4 by 16. Am I correct? Plus 3 multiplied by x cube by this is 2 cube means 8 minus 2 into x square by 4. This is 2 times 2 times plus 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Now, two one ja, two eight ja. Here, let us simplify it. So, x to the power of five by thirty-two minus x to the power of four by eight plus three x cube by eight minus x square by two because Two one zero two two zero plus two x plus three is equal to zero. Here two eight eight thirty two LCM will be thirty two. Multiply thirty two on both sides. You get x to the power of five minus four x to the power of four plus twelve x cube minus sixteen x square. Plus sixty-four x plus 